So this is the large hake and just clean water going onto it, just to stop all the hard edges in the sky. Now once that's in, I'm just going to switch to some raw sienna, just pop a bit of that in, just nice and random all over. And I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to go ultramarine and a bit of Payne's grey. Push that in from the right, a bit in from the left as well. Something like that. And let's just darken that up a bit. Blue and grey. And let's just get it nice and dark. down the bottom and I'm just seeing where the paint's just coming down just catching it just very lightly with the brush there's a hair there but I'm going to wait there's another one there as well so I'll wait until it's dry before I take those off paper's still wet so as long as it's wet we can just carry on and we won't get any sharp edges there but it's all nice and soft and then what I might do is before that dries, same colours, a bit of raw sienna, ultramarine, Payne's grey, and then just pop in some of these. Just take that hair out first. Some of these distant lands there. It's the hills in the background. I'm just going to pull down the reflections while I've still got the same colour on the brush. All right across the other side. I'm going to strengthen that a little bit, add a little of lemon yellow, a bit greeny. And there's a few like little trees and stuff growing on the uh, mountain side. Pull down the reflections of those as well. Easy to do while the colour's already on your brush. You could re-wet the bottom bit if you wanted to, where the water is, and do it, but I prefer to do it at the same time. A few more trees over on this end. And again, just pull down those reflections. Just watching that water gather at the bottom of the paper, just soaking it up before it gets a chance to seat back up the page. And I'm just going to dip the tips in just to bring the hairs back together, something like that. Just enough water to keep the hairs together. Let's just go into the raw sienna. And just a bit of, just a bit of land down there. Sienna. The first thing I'm going to do is paper stretch slightly, so I'm just going to pull that tight. A bit of raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow. And sort of round this, sort of. It's a round come round like this. A big sweep round there like that. A bit of burnt umber in there as well I think. It sort of sweeps round like that and it goes up a bit down there. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Again, hairs are separating so just dip the tips in. And they're back together again. Just strengthen these uh, edges a bit. Just where the land meets the water. So just a bit up there. Watch those hairs. A 
it's like these little like mud banks or something. Very fine up there, just very very fine, it's hit and miss, just catching the odd one here and there, same on this side. Obviously the further something away is the less the less detail there is. Maybe didn't you need that there? And then as it starts to dry, as you put the uh, paint over it, it'll get just get darker and darker. this a little bit more. I'm giving a few little blocks. I'm going to keep them small. Just try and keep them small. And switch to the rigger, and then there's a few little fence posts. Let's just do a few little fence posts. Just pop in here. Something along there, like that. And I'm just going to put a little boat. A little boat in the distance, but I need to make sure it's dry first before I do that. happening over here see so I'm going to put the thing the the boat over this side just to try and balance things up a little bit so I'm going to pick a, a, a sort of darkish area just so that the light the, the white sails stand out so I'm just taking the number three rigger just damp just taking the excess off on the tail just so that it's just just damp enough to loosen the paint on the paper I'm going to take a tissue in the other hand make sure my hands dry and then I'm going to pick somewhere along here, say about there, I think. And I'm just going to start just taking out a, tr a triangular shape with the brush. Dump it with the tip there. And we've got one, one little yacht on the horizon there. Um, I might put a little, another one in, I think. Just alongside it. Try and do this one slightly. Bit too much water there. Yeah, there's too much water on it. Slightly smaller, and then for some reason they, uh, they seem to work better in threes and twos. Let's pop one. One down there. I don't want to do this one any bigger. Just trying to keep it nice and small. That'll do. Just gives the impression of something happening over there in the distance. A bit of life. A bit of life to the thing. Up in the sky with some just very something. Very fine birds, just as small as you can possibly do them. And then down there, get that a bit darker. Just pop your name in the corner and then I'll pull that one done. So let's see what it looks like with the um, main on.
Starting with the sky as usual, and this is a sort of bit of raw sienna with uh, Payne's grey and ultramarine blue coming in from the sides. Try and preserve this light coming right down the middle of the painting into the water below. Same sky colours brushed in either side. Distant hills, always putting the furthest hills away that the same colours as the sky, pushes them right back. And then just a little bit stronger as we come forward. See that bit of land there protruding into the water, just sort of raw sienna, Payne's grey, and then a bit of burnt umber and ultramarine as well, just to darken up at the bottom. A few little rocks there, scraped in with the uh, piece of card just to break this foreground up a little. Just use a straight edged hike just to and a bit of dark mix just to put underneath to create these sort of muddy muddy areas where the water meets the land. And obviously in the distance just try to keep them as subtle as possible. The further something is the less detail there is. A little boat there taken out with a damp rigger brush and then just using a tissue just to help create a bit of life. And then as small as I possibly could we've got our little birds in the sky. A little man-made element in the foreground here with our little fence post just provides a nice contrast to all the uh, natural surroundings. So there you have it, thanks for watching. This painting as well as all my others are in my eBay store if you'd like to take a look. Any questions please ask, keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.